In this video clip, uh, I try to link a handful of related concepts. They are GUI, CLI, Logo, Turtle Graphic, Scratch, and Pseudocode. Now just a gentle reminder, if you are one of my high school students, you should pause the video now and take out your pen and your notebook. Start to take notes. Now on count of three, you pause the video. Take out your notebook and also see how much you understand, how much you know about these concepts already. Now one, two, three, pause your video. Now I continue. Window is a graphic user interface and for short it's GUI. When you use window like Microsoft Word, uh, you can command the computer to draw a square, do many things, including drawing a square by using the mouse and the toolbar on the monitor. So for example, this is Microsoft Word, this program that you're looking at, and it's got toolbar here. Okay, and all these icons are also called graphics. And you can use your mouse to click any of these videos, these icons to tell computer what you want it to do, to save, to cut, etc. So this is called graphic user interface. So you've got this graphic on the interface, which is the monitor. And command line interface, which is short for CLI, do not have on-screen toolbar or the mouse. So like this one, you don't have these ones. And you only have a black screen and on this black screen it will show the commands you have to type in in white characters for example if you want a CLI computer to draw a square on the screen you have to complete a three-step programming process now this is an example first task is that you have to define the task in the human language, in plain language. This is for the customer or programmer to read. For example, if the customer tell you the software programmer or computer programmer or software developer, the customer said, I want my software that you designed for me be able to draw a square. Okay. So you, the programmer, will write this down like this in plain everyday English. Then you go home, go back to your office on your own. You start to write this command in pseudocode. Now pseudocode is a command that's written or in sentences like this. This is pseudocode. It's written for a team of programmer to read so that your colleagues and the more experienced programmer and the team of them can check and they want to make sure all this language is actually in fact the same as this language. So what's the difference between human language and pseudocode then? Well, pseudocode is also written in human language, except it's more in details. When you tell a human being to draw a square, you just say, draw a square, please, and the job will be done. But if you say, draw a square to the computer, no matter how loudly you scream, no matter how loudly you scream, the computer will not understand you. 
you have to write it in a way that computer understand. So that's the computer language. But before you write it in a computer language, you have to turn the human language into a smaller, simpler sentences. So if you look at this carefully, move forward 1000, uh, move forward 120. That means, now you follow my cursor, that means you move your cursor forward. Now follow my cursor, move forward 120. You are telling the computer to draw the line that's 120 me meters or 120 pixels long or 120 units of measurements. Okay, so 120, look at this box. Okay, so move forward 120 and then turn right. That means you want the computer to change the, the direction to the right because you only turn around so there's no distance involved. So turn right 90, that means you turn to right. And then the next sentence, move forward. So you come here, move to your right. And move forward by how many? By 120. So move forward by 120 measurements. And then you turn right again. That's our left, but computer's right. So turn right to 90. And then you go another 140. So these sentences, these short simple sentences are in fact the same effect like a sentence like that, natural sentence. And again, this is just for a team of programmer to study to make sure that the codes that are going to be written is based on sound uh, definition of the task. And when this is all okay, all okay, and the whole team of programmer think that it's okay, that's good. That means the pseudocode is passed the test. Then your next step is to turn the pseudocode into a computer readable language or computer readable instructions. That is logo. Logo is one of the languages that you can use. So if you want to translate this sentence, these sentences into this. This is a process of programming. So that means move forward 120 units of distance. This unit of distance can be pixel or it can be just distance. And then right RT means right turn 90 degrees. You don't even have to tell degrees. For a computer, it's 90, it's 90. And then forward again, FD120. So when you, all this command corresponds to the pseudocode up here, and the pseudocode is corresponding to the human language. So when you finish all the three steps, the programming task is finished. Now, pseudo in English language is an adjective. It means being apparently other than actually as stated. What that means is you what is written here is in a lot of details but in simple sentences. So it's apparently very apparent. Okay? And you don't need any comprehension. When you say draw a square, then you need a comprehension. The computer will not understand it. Now I want you to pause the video now and try to link pseudocode or have a think about what you see here or take note. Now you pause the video now. Now I continue. A uh, logo programming language uh, is a programming language and it's also called turtle graphic. That's because in the early days when it was invented 
and you can see a turtle on the screen moving in response to these commands and it was designed to use for GUI computers uh, sorry it was designed uh, to use with command line interface computers but it is now because we all most of the computers have GUI now and we don't need to learn the programming language to be able to use the computer so the logo programming language is now used for the purpose of teaching programming skills to kids in the middle school and logo has later been developed into scratch it's a new program and it's just updated version and all logo turtle graphic and scratch were all developed by MIT and they are or at least scratch is are av available for free download and scratch and turtle are very good tools are very good visual tools to teach kids the basics of programming principle and also it's a very visual way for kids to see how you can control a computer now the last one I want you to pause the video now and think of these questions and obviously all the answers are up here so you just pause the video and write this question down and start to and have a think and in your worksheets you can type your answers here okay this is the end of this recording thank you